All right, welcome guys. Today, we're uh, back up in Ayutthaya, making a couple of videos up here today. Anyway, right now we are at Wat Samanakato Satharam. And I know I bought you that pronunciation. But anyway, uh, it's a temple. It's like the 14th, 15th century and uh, has a couple of interesting things about it. Uh, the origins of this temple are unclear. They don't really know exactly when it was built, but there is some uh, like speculation about it being in the era of King Narai the Great. And there was several like uh, accounts from this temple, you know, in some of the written history about like a, a Mon monk that came down here uh set at this temple like in the lotus position and uh then they poured oil all over his body and then they burned it and uh, a couple other stories like that and chow praya lek and some other stories there's a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of confusing but anyway the whole the main reason i come here is because it's a it's an old ruin it's also an active temple so they've uh, refurbished one of the uh the prayer halls and they put a buddha in it and then they have uh like a central prong that's in the Khmer style. And uh, they think that it was built after like uh, one of the uh, Ayutthaya leaders attacked the city of Chiang Mai back in the day. And they were impressed by the style of one of the Chetis from Chiang Mai. So they built this. So we're gonna walk through, most of the ruins is down like on the, like on the ground level, but some of it is still pretty cool. And then they've put some modern Buddhas in here, so let's take a look. Let's see what we do. So the temple itself is east of the island, the main island of Ayutthaya, and it's right next to a kind of a main road. And it's a it's kind of a cool way to get here. You go down this uh, this road, and you go around a chetty that's like a center of a traffic circle. So here you can see the, uh, the modern Buddha image that's been put right here at the end of this, uh, this prayer hall. And then they put a couple more in here. For some reason, there's a gigantic parakeet. And then they have like a spirit house over there and another spirit house over there. But like I said, you, the, the traffic circle is, uh, is a chetty from uh, Wat Sam Plum. And it's so cool. You just go around, you know, the circle and it's a, uh, like a 14th century, you know, chetty just sticking right up there. But they destroyed the rest of the temple to make way for, you know, the, uh, the road. But here you can see these would have been the support piers for, uh, for this prayer hall. And it's all the way down to basically the base. So there's not a whole lot left of it. And then all the other chetties are just down to the base itself also. That one there has a little bit more brick, but not a whole lot. But this is quite cool. You go, you drive by it on the road and you just see this uh, sparkling white Buddha. Looks like they have some lights and stuff with some solar panels to keep this lit up at night. And then you can see the remains of the, the original Buddha that was on the backside of this. Now the ruins itself here at this uh, at this site are not very well maintained. There's houses and stuff all around it, but there's quite a bit of trash that people have tossed down. You can see some of the chetties. And then the central prong is all but gone. I mean, there's just uh, a little bit left of it. But the main reason I wanted to look at was the uh, the worship hall that they've uh, completely restored, or they restored it from the ground up. First, let's look at the central prong. There's a little bit of the plaster work and stuff still around the base. And then you can see over here, some of the chetties, that just the uh, tops of them that, are, that remain. Let's go up here and see what this looks like. The stairs have all pretty much eroded away. Got to be part billy goat to get up here. And then it's got some vines and stuff that have overgrown it. And then you can see back there the, uh, the other chetty with uh, the main building. 
Yeah, not a whole lot to see up here. We can see down into the ruins. You can see all the bases of all the chetties and buildings. And here's that central prong. And you can see all the parts of it that's fallen off. That they have just uh, laying around over here. Some of the molding, the stucco work is still on the bottom of it, but not a whole lot. Kind of the highlight of the temple is uh, this little chetty and then the, uh, the main prayer hall. You can see this one here has definitely the bell shape. And you can't really see, but there's quite a bit of the detail work still right underneath those, uh, those plants. Plants have kind of taken over. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool chetty. And then the, uh, the main prayer hall over here. So they rebuilt it completely from the foundation. And quite a few pigeons and stuff up there. So I don't know how much of uh, the support pillars and stuff were here, but it looks like they had to pretty much do all the new brickwork. So they probably used the existing bricks and then uh, built the walls back up. And I'm not sure what year they did that. There's no information available here at this temple. There's a few like placards, but they've all weathered, so you can't read any of it. And then you got the, uh, the marker stones. This building is quite cool. I really like this building. Wish they would do that with more of these temples where they would come back in and rebuild some of them and put some modern roofs on it. And then back over there is the working part of the temple. So you have uh, a prayer hall there and another one over here. And then they have the, the monk quarters and stuff. So let's go inside here and let's see what this, uh, this Buddha looks like. So here they put a modern Buddha right here in the middle of this hall. And it looks like this is kind of what it looked like. So 2542, I believe it's 2556. I believe that's what year it is now. They use the Buddha calendar, so it always throws me off. And you can see the walls, they've done all the new stuccoing and stuff. Praha Wisian Wintion alias Kosa Pan, the first Siamese ambassador to the court of Louis XIV in 1686. And there was some writing about this temple in, uh, by some French that were in this, in this region. And then they have all the uh, seated Buddhas. Back behind the uh, that restored hall, you can see the uh, the temple wall. And this is all the only uh, real gate that's left. So this would have been a nice arch over it, but the arch part has collapsed down. Still a little bit of the detail work in the plaster. All right, so we'll look in this hall and look over there, and then we'll uh, we'll call it good at this temple. It looks like they got some of the construction stuff over here. And there was a big pile of the roof tiles out amongst the trees also. It looks like from uh, when they replaced the roof. All right, so this is a nice little building. I got the chicken wire to keep the birds somewhat off of it. And this building looks really, really new. You can see the ceiling tiles are still kind of glistening in the sun. This is a nice building. And then they have some of the war elephant battle scenes. There's so much in this region that's tied into fighting the Burmese. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty important. So I believe this is for uh, King Taxon. And then they have some of the other Buddhas. So this little building here was built in 2016. That's when it was completed and it houses that 
little uh, monument to King Taxon the Great. And there's a couple little data plates that talk about King Taxon's life and uh, his fights with the Burmese. And then he eventually set up uh, Tonbury, moved the capital from Ayutthaya over to Tonbury. Okay, so let's walk in there and let's take a look at so it. So there's part of the temple that's still working. You see here we have the monks that they're doing the chanting. And then some of the people that are here. And then they have a little shrine over there. So I'm not sure what the celebration's about, but maybe something with Song Kran. Okay, guys, that finishes up our little tour of this uh, this temple. It's pretty nice. I uh, I like the main hall, but other than that, there's uh, not a whole lot here to see. The statue of King uh, Tax and the Great is kind of cool, but the main hall, just the way they've rebuilt it and made it functional, it's the only thing really worth stopping by to see here at this uh, this ruin. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. And if you want to leave me a comment, leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me what you think. Or if you want me to go see something else, I will. And anyway, guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. <laughs>